All right, y'all, we in the building. Roll the intro! Another one, it's another one, and another one. What's poppin', y'all? We are back with another video. If this is your first time here, click that subscribe button. Do it right now. It's somewhere down there. Click that subscribe button. Make sure you like this video. Super important. So the video gets to who it needs to get to. Like the video, and make sure you turn the notification bell on so you don't miss the next time I drop another video. All right, y'all, so we have to talk about it. Because listen, there's some things. There's some things that need to be addressed. There's some things that need to be addressed. So, y'all, we are going to be talking about Ice Spice and Nicki Minaj, the princess and the queen. Or is Ice Spice no longer the princess? Or was she ever? We're going we're gonna to talk about it. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna carry a little bit today. Um okay y'all. So what's going on is that remember I reported to you all a couple days ago about Ice Spice's um ex best friend leaking their text messages and things like that. Um, which I thought was just so trash. You like that was so trashy. Um, but she leaked their text messages. Oh, but she chose violence this morning and she was waiting for the grand finale. So, last time when she leaked the text messages, it wasn't no tea for me. It just wasn't no tea. It was, she thought she had tea. We were drinking piss. But this is some tea. So, she released some text messages today between her and Ice Spice. And they are not altered or anything because she is seen on the, on the phone scrolling. You know how you make sure it's not just a fake screenshot. It's scrolling. So, I do believe that these messages are from Ice Spice. Um, they have timestamps and dates on them. So, um, she is revealing some things, um, about Ice Spice and Nicki Minaj's working relationship, um, and what Ice Spice really thinks about Nicki Minaj. And she, she said a few nasty things. Um, so we are going to get into it. So let me go ahead and get the receipt pulled up y'all. And then y'all know we're going to break it down and we're going to talk about it. Cause we got to talk about it. This is juicy. Now she delivered on this one. Last time the tea was lukewarm when we talked about her last time, but she, oh, she delivered. Baby Stormy delivered on this one. So let me go ahead and show y'all. Um, okay. Hold on. Let me get a drink of water so I get the run in my mouth. Okay. So let me make sure I got the right one pulled up. Does it start from right there? Okay. So Baby Storm tweets, good morning, Barb's. As promised, this is how ISIS really feels about Nicki Minaj. So... Um, the first text message. Now, this is time stamped and everything. Okay, y'all look. So, May 20th of last year. May 20th of last year. This is where this started. And then we'll, we'll, we'll get more into the timeline of things once I, you know, take the receipts off and we really talk about it. So, I'm just going to read it right now. So, um, I guess the girl asked her how the call and in yesterday on a good note. So she's asking her about the call with Nicki Minaj, I guess, because they were in negotiation. So I Spice says open ended again. But then but then James called me with Nicki's old manager of 11 years. And he says she was being unfair, asking for too much, which is what everyone's been telling me. But it's hard to negotiate with her because she doesn't let people talk like lawyers or James, etc. Okay? And so, um, the the best friend who posted the messages, I guess she must have taken a nap. Yeah, because it was a little gap. So, she was asleep. Well, no, she was asleep. So, as soon as she woke up in the morning at 6.02 a.m., she responded, just woke up. That's just so annoying, bro. Does she just not realize that she's asking for too much? And let me zoom in a little bit more, y'all. My eyes are a little bad now. So we can really, okay. So does she not realize that she's asking for too much? I said, no, she doesn't think so at all. And so um, the girl said, so frustrating. Do you think you guys will be able to come to a compromise? I says, hopefully, but we're about to put out another record in June for the Barbie World soundtrack, which is an opportunity I bought her. So, you know, she, she's throwing her weight around a little bit. She's like, I bought her this opportunity for um, the Barbie World soundtrack. So, she says, um, because Barbie asked me to do it alone, but since that's her brand, I invited her. She's talking about Nicki Minaj. I invited her on and she doesn't even see that as me bringing her something. She's kind of like my mom, ungrateful and delusional. 
So she called Nicki Minaj. She compared Nicki Minaj to her own mother. Um, I guess uh, I Spice has a bad relationship with her mom. She said she's ungrateful and delusional. She said, I cut her off, by the way, not speaking to her till January. So I think she was talking about her mom with that one. Okay. So, um, yeah, she delivered with these receipts. Now, these, now we, I can work with this. You, you got to give me something to work with now. I can work with this, baby Stormy. So not only did she stop, she did not stop there, y'all. She said, oh, wait, there's more. You're welcome, Barb's. So she goes on to post, um, and this is what I was telling y'all that I believe these are real because she's actually in her phone doing a video record and she's actually showing the messages. Okay. So she's showing us more weight. She really got the live with these though. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. I'm just waiting on her to scroll back down so we can see what she said after ungrateful and delusional and her cutting her mom off. She's scrolling. Okay. So then the friend says back, OMG, how does she not realize that? I guess realize that you gave her, that Ice gave her an opportunity. It's not like they initially asked her to do it. That's the thing people always say about her. She'll always think she's doing you a favor. She said, the friend's still talking. Did she do more or do you just feel like that's what's best? So she's asking about the mom at that point. So they're having two conversations at one. So... I says, no, um, it's so I is talking about Nikki now. She says, no, it's that. Plus she wants publishing from all my songs, including third party writing, uh, competitions. So anything I write for other people or any songs I get on, mind you, I had a Taylor Swift collab before I had the Nikki one. So she's saying that Nikki wanted her publishing. She wanted, um, a piece of her publishing. She wanted a piece of her publishing. So I'm guessing Ice was supposed to sign to Nikki or something. That's what it's giving. Ice was supposed to sign to Nikki's record heavy on it. Um, we'll talk more about that, but let me just keep on reading. So the friend goes on to say, is the Taylor collab coming out? And yes, I know. I know. I mean, did your mom do more anything annoying shit or did you just feel like a break was necessary? So they talk about the mom and then she goes back into Nikki. She said, also, bro, now that I'm thinking about it, what you're saying makes a lot of sense. I think we're, we're forgetting that when Nikki was coming up, the deals people were getting at that time, early 2000s, weren't artist friendly at all. Literally, not until recently. So to us, she's asking for too much. But because she's probably used to seeing labels take more, she feels like she feels like it's more than fair. It's not right, but she's much older, which is why she feels that way. Not right at all, though. So that's what the friend goes on to say. So Ice goes on to say more after that. So Ice says, and that's basically what she's saying because she keeps saying, oh, when Wayne was signing me, I didn't question blah, blah, blah. But me and her are in, two, are in, different, are in different places in our career when that happened. Like, I'm already signed. So why would I work backwards? And nah, it's just necessary. Like, she gaslights me too much. Gotta love her from a distance for my mental health. Now, she's going back talking about her mom on that one. So then um, the friend responds and says, this is the best way I could describe it. Nikki is like those people who believe that kids today shouldn't get student loan forgiveness because they had to pay for it back when they, they went. So, um, I says, but mind you, we wanted to pay Nikki. So she's like, we wanted to pay her. And then the friend said, if that makes sense, she said her artist fee. So I was like, mind you, but mind you, we wanted to pay Nikki her artist fee. Yes. 100%. Like we wanted to pay her 100% basically of whatever she charged for a feature. We were willing to pay that to her. She said, I think she's jealous that I own all my own masters because she said, James, you think you the man you and you think you so cool in the interview. I don't know why she mentioned that. So Ice is really spilling in these messages. So the friend says, what? And she says, and James, the one that said I own my masters in the Billboard interview. So James, which is her manager. Um, And there was one last piece to these messages. Um... Let me see. She stopped it so quickly before we can get the last message out. It's loading, y'all. The only last piece it was, I said something like, oh, I see so much now. Um, it may start up. It may not. Whew! Let 
let me get take a drink of water on that. So y'all, we gotta talk. We gotta talk. Okay. So it's important to know, really quick, before we break this down. Um, I think timelines are everything. Timelines are everything. So now we I have we have to do our due diligence. Um, we have to see when Princess Diana. Nikki Minaj came out, which I already looked prior to this video, but I just want to pull this up for you all to see. Um, but that record was released on, let me show you all, that record was released on April the 14th, as you can see here. That record was released on April the 13th or the 14th, you know, Thursday, Friday kind of thing. So these uh, messages between Ice Spice and her friend occurred shortly after the Barbie World song came out. So, I mean, I'm sorry, the, the Princess Diana song came out. So, these messages were in May. The 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 uh, the song with Ice Spice and Nikki, Princess Diana, their very first collab, came out in April. So, this was shortly after. And if you all re don't remember, and which you probably don't, remember that um, that record in particular, it was a remix to Ice Spice's song. The record was laying dormant. Nikki hopped on the record and woke the record up. Okay. And the record um, went on to debut um, on the charts or even, I guess, rise to the charts. It had already been out. So it was considered a remix. But the record went into the top 10 and it stayed there, I believe, for a couple weeks. And it was stable on the charts as well. So Ice Spice had already did, did the song herself. And it did not do anything. And I actually liked the song prior to Nikki getting on the song. I actually did. That was actually one of my favorite songs off of her EP. So when Nikki got on it, it woke it up. This was the moment. This was the moment for the culture. It was the new uh, Ice, the, which is uh, the princess. Was She was being called the princess. She That was kind of floating around. And then you had the queen. You bring them together. And Nikki even also in the song, some say that she called Ice the princess. She kind of crowned her in the song. She kind of... Like, you are the princess. She kind of, she gave it to her. You know, the princess of New York. The princess of rap. Um, I talked to my friends. They say, hmm, Nikki probably didn't give her, didn't say that. She was just playing off the theme of the song. I think she did crown Ice the princess of rap. I think she did. And now it makes sense because she was going to sign her and she wanted a piece of her publishing. So it makes sense for her to go ahead and crown her the princess of rap. If I'm crowning you, I'm giving you my blessing. My support that I get from my fan base will become your support. You're signed to my label. Everybody eats. Everybody is going to will be benefited from you being the princess of rap. And for me, crowning you the princess of rap. I eat, you eat, we all eat. So she did crown her the princess of rap. If anybody was ever wondering, it makes sense now with these text messages because they were in the middle of a deal. And that record was uh, distributed under Heavy On It, which is Nicki Minaj's label. Okay. So um, we got all that going, right? Okay. And so these text messages from Ice Spice, um, it's basically saying that Nicki wanted her publishing. So it sounds like Nikki wanted Ice Spice to sign a deal that Ice Spice did not seem, well, this doesn't seem like, that's what happened. Ice Spice felt like the deal was not favorable to her. And so Quiet is Kept, um, it's been noted that they had been uh, negotiating this deal since March of 2023. Which makes sense because I'm pretty sure because um, the, the Princess Diana record came out early April, April 14th. So they had already been negotiating this deal since March of 2023, right? And so um, I Spice had never, it seems like she never, that she didn't like the deal. She wasn't really feeling it. But she still went on to put out the record and get the Nicki Minaj look and everything from Nicki. She got the look. She got that verse. Or whatever. Um, that was a really big look for Ice Spice. She, you know, and she's not wrong for getting that. She's not wrong for getting that. Um, and then she she shot the video too. Now I'm also hearing that Nicki Minaj paid for that video. Um, because you know that video was that that song was distributed. I said that before on heavy on it, which is Nicki Minaj label. So Nicki Minaj, her label paid for that video, which in turn that's Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj is paying for so Nicki Minaj fronted the bill. For the video, Princess Diana. Her label did, but in turn, that takes out of Nikki's pocket as well. It's all one. It's her, it's her business. 
So she did that in thinking that Ice Spice, they were in negotiation, they were in talks. She did that because she's thinking that Ice Spice is going to sign to her label. And my theory is, and this is not confirmed, but in a way, I guess it is because the, the, the messages are there. Nicki Minaj was going to put Ice Spice in a position to spearhead the new wave um, of, of the kind of music that Ice Spice makes. And she was going to be the face of Heavy on it. That's what I pulled from that. Nicki Minaj was going to put Ice Spice in the position to be the princess of rap. And she was putting her in the position to be the face of her record label, ushering in the new class and the new talent that Nikki saw fit to sign. That's just what that was, y'all. That she was she was literally gonna make her the figurehead of her label. And it would it was so smart. It would it would have made so much sense. Ice Spice was popping at the time. She was from New York, she had a couple bops, she had momentum. It was slated, and then on top of that, I'm Nicki, I'm being Nicki Minaj, I'm the queen of rap, I'm about to stamp you, princess, I'm about to call you the princess of rap, it, it was a done deal, it was slated for everybody to win, it was a done deal, but I Spice didn't like that deal that Nicki was offering, because Nicki wanted too much of that publishing, she wanted too much of the pub, mm-hmm, that's what happened, Nicki wanted too much of the publishing, um, and so I spice not knowing any better. She's venting to a friend. I hope my camera's not jumping. She's venting to a friend, not really knowing any better for real. Um, and with her venting to the friend, she calls Nicki Minaj jealous and delusional. I guess for, she thinks that Nicki Minaj is jealous of her because she owns her own masters. Um, and, you know, maybe um, Nikki Ice had a better deal than Nikki as far as um, publishing rights and things go. So she went on to call her jealous and delusional, like her mom. She reminds me of my mom, jealous and delusional. Mm. <sighs> man, man, man. Here's my, here's, here's another thing that I think. Do I think that um, this is, so this is business at the beginning and end of the day. Um, although Ice Spice likes and admires Nikki, um, she did she and she got that look from Nikki because um, she didn't only do one, she did two collabs. Oh, so we got to move on to the Barbie world. But before I get there, Ice Spice wasn't going to put herself. She said I will be working backwards. She wasn't going to put herself in a position where um, Nikki was going to be owning a lot of her publishing. She just wasn't. And in a business sense, and you know, from a business standpoint, I feel her. I do. We gotta like we gotta call a thing a thing, and I love Nikki down, but it's like this probably is not gonna. This isn't gonna be beneficial to me. Probably um, it will. It would have been. But the thing about it is, honestly, it wouldn't have been probably beneficial to her right now. But I feel like had I Spice played the long game, um, even with the pub, the the what Nikki was asking for, it probably would have worked out in her favor in the long run. Because of uh, Nicki Minaj's status in the hip hop game, you get what I'm saying. Um, this is the queen of rap stamping you. You're signed to her label. You're getting all her fans at that point. She and Nicki Minaj was gonna let it be known that Ice was her artist too. She was letting all. She was going you know, she was really because at that point she's getting money from you. So Nicki Minaj was to the point where she's like, I'm not stamping no more of these girls because they're coming up, getting money off my back. And I'm not getting anything out of the deal but the feature. And the song will be hot for however long it's hot for. And then before you know it, these girls are going to go reach new heights in their careers. Which I want them to. Yes, go flow, excel. But then I get into it with them afterwards. They do something phony. They start moving fake and flaw. So Nicki Minaj, she just wasn't, she was not willing to go ahead and take another L. She just wasn't. She was trying to get her business together. And I can't blame her. She was really trying to get the business together on the business end. Like, no, you want this feature? Okay, this is how we're going to do this. We're going to distribute this under my label. Oh, yeah. And you know what? You, I, I, I can sign you, too. Let's, let's talk about a deal. She was getting her business together, which as she should, you know. Um, but if I was Ice Spice, would I have signed the deal? Uh, I don't know. It's just, I guess for me, Ice Spice probably 
could have did it and played the long game because um, right now I Spice is slowly fizzling out. Um, she just did a remix. It's not the talk of the town. Um, she doesn't have any solo top 10 records. Everything that she had in the top 10 is a, a feature in someone else. The Taylor Swift song, it's a feature. Um, the Nicki Minaj, the Princess Diana, and the Barbie World, both of those are features. Um, the, um, the Boy's a Liar, a feature. Nick, uh, Ice Spice doesn't have anything solo in the top 10. She doesn't. She doesn't have any solo number one records either. You understand? So she's fizzling out. She is starting to fizzle out. Ice Spice won't be a thing next year. I'm just, I, I'm putting it out there. 2025, this is Ice Spice's run right here. The run that Ice Spice is having, she's not going to be able to take this into 2025. This, I, th I, and I, it's, I don't want to sound like a hater or anything, but it stops here for Ice Spice. It does. Um, at the end of 2024, she may have a little bit of momentum depending on the moves that she makes in the beginning of 2025. But let's just, oh, well, you know what? Let's give her 2024 and let's give her all of 2025. But in 2026, Ice Spice will not be a thing anymore. I'm just calling it how it is. Ice Spice won't be a thing anymore. She just won't be. Ice Spice will not be a thing anymore. She won't be able to sustain because of the kind of music that she makes. It's very microwavy. It's very microwavy. And I feel like us as a culture, we're moving away from that. We're moving away from that. So Ice Spice won't be able to sustain um, until 2026. And she doesn't even have a debut album out yet. She only has this light mixtape. And it's a lot riding on this uh, solo project of hers too. Her debut album. It's so much riding on her debut. She's, she saw so much success without a debut album. It's a lot riding on her debut. Similar to how Nicki has saw a lot of success with her features and everything um, without a debut album. Um, everything was riding on Nicki's debut album. They were waiting on her to fail. But the thing about it is I Spice um, is not that great of a rapper. So even if this album did, um, even if the album did bad, she don't have her talent to fall back on. That's the difference. Had Nicki... Uh, first album Pink Friday 2 debuted poorly then Nicki Minaj always had her talent to fall back on because well, guess what you do you get in the booth and you make another one and you try at it again I Spice don't have that going for her because she's not she don't have the lyrical ability really like that now she's talented in other ways or whatever she can come up with a catchy hook and everything but as far as lyrical ability of what a rapper should be I Spice is not there but she does make songs for the youth and that they could to and everything so Maybe it's me speaking on speaking to it from a person who is a little older. I'm 27 years old. Um, so not quite 30 just yet, but I am on that on that late, late later end of things. So I could be wrong. I'm open to being wrong about Ice Spice or whatever. I'm so open to that. But from what I see, Ice Spice won't be a thing top of 2026. If she's if she's even able to sustain through 2025, she's gonna be grasping for straws. So that's the thing. So, um, yeah, this will be interesting, y'all, um, to see how this plays out and how the cookie crumbles on this. Now, do I think that... Oh, wait. And another thing. I do think, Nikki, before you pay for that video or something, maybe you... I, I feel like Ice, the way Ice moved about it was a little sly and sneaky because you let this woman sit up there and you let her label front the bill for the video, if that is true, um... I'm thinking that that is true. I'm almost for sure that's true. But if that's true, you let her sit up there in front of the bill for that video. You got your feature. Then you you brought her Barbie World. Yes, you did. You did bring um I you did bring Nicki Minaj a Barbie World feature. Yes, you did. They asked you the Barbie movie asked you and you asked her. But let's be honest. That was beneficial for not just Nicki Minaj. I, that was beneficial for you as well because that song wouldn't have did anything without attaching I spot, attaching Nicki Minaj's name to that record. Me personally, I didn't even like the record all like that. The record wasn't even all that great, but you know, you throw Nicki Minaj on there and then you throw the sample on there and then phew, it's out of there and it's something you know that people could bop to. That Barbie World record wouldn't have not done what it did. It would have never debuted in the top 10 with just Ice Spice alone. Let me tell you how I know that. Because Ice Spice can't even debut her own songs solo in the top 10 with just herself alone. So how was the Barbie World soundtrack going to do that? Even with the video. It, it was never going to debut. It was never going to do what it did. 
with Ice Spice alone. She had to call Nikki to get on that record or it would have flopped. I'm just calling a thing a thing. That Barbie World record would have flopped. So, yes, Ice, although you did bring Nicki Minaj an opportunity to get on the Barbie World record, yes, you did. You did bring her an opportunity. It was just as beneficial if, as it was for her as it was for you. Y'all both benefited from that. Nicki hadn't had a top 10 in a little minute. Red Ruby was right there with number 12, so she was off at a good start and everything. You know, but Red Ruby didn't even have a video. Had Red Ruby had a proper rollout in a video, Nicki Minaj would have had another top 10 hit. If not, number one, if it was, you know, really organized, put out. But she was just really playing around on Rare Ruby. So, um, I think Ice is, she's putting her, she's making it seem like she revived Nikki from the gutter. Which, that did not happen, Ice. Like, you just giving her all these opportunities. You gave yourself an opportunity. And you're trying to spin it like you just did Nicki Minaj just really huge, big favor. But the truth of the matter is... Had Nicki Minaj never got on that Barbie World record that you said you brought to her this opportunity, guess what? Nicki Minaj would have still had the number one album this year, or when she just put it out into 2023. She would have still had the number one album. She would have still sold over 200,000 first week. She's on a world tour right now. The world tour would have still been sold out. 32 or 33 consecutive shows sold out consecutively. She would have still, she's a legacy artist. She would have still went on to do everything that she wanted to do without your Barbie World feature. So I think you got big headed. You got big headed with that. You know, like you did her a favor. You did both of y'all a favor. That song, the Barbie World song, it threw Nikki back in the algorithm. Um, not that she ever had left, but it put her back in that top 10. That and Princess Diana, it did. Both things that you asked Nikki to get on. Nikki Minaj did not come to you with a track and say, get on this. As far, as far as we know, she didn't come to you and say, I need you. I need you. You came to her and said, I need you. I need you. She did you a favor. And you needed it more than she did because you're on the come up. She's already solidified as a legacy artist. I Spice is on the come up. She needed Barbie World to happen way better than Nikki did to add to her stats. She needed Princess Diana to happen way more than Nikki did to add to her stats. These are just the facts of things. If we got to talk, we got to be honest. We got to be truthful. Ice Spice needed that. Nikki didn't need that. She did not. That wouldn't affect her album sales. Nicki Minaj did not put Barbie World on her album. Is she even still performing it on the tour? She might be. But, yeah, so I, mm, I see. But I get, but, you know, but here's the thing on the other end. Let me calm down on Ice a little bit. Because what Ice is doing, Ice is kicking in with her friend. You know, she's talking and she's she's confiding in her friend. So when you're in the text messages, you talking to, and this allegedly was her best friend, you're going to really carry. You know what I mean? You're really going to carry, like, I did her a favor. You know, you know how it's not gonna come off that way when you're actually talking to the person. But if you're talking to your good friend, you you willing to spill a little bit. You willing to go ahead and spill. That is what happened. That's what happened. And so, um, will Nicki Minaj address this? No, Nicki Minaj is not gonna address this. But also, remember, I had did a video. Um, I did a video a couple of weeks ago. And mind you, if y'all watching this. I've only been doing YouTube, like, going on, what, two months now? So, um, I appreciate y'all for supporting me. I have not been doing this long. But I've been on the internet the same amount of time you all have. So, I've been seeing everything um, that goes on, too. But I did a video, and I'm looking right here. It's two weeks ago. Let me show y'all. I got to pull this up just so y'all can see. Um, so, that's me right there. I did a video. Um, it says two weeks ago, they got 2,000 views. Nicki Minaj calls Ice Spice a freeloader. Um, so Nicki Minaj was on um, Station Head, I believe, and she had called, I, she, she said people were using her, users. She said people are leeches and stuff like that. I came on here and I told y'all, I think she's talking about Ice Spice because the way that Ice Spice was moving at the time, whatever, and it had already been some things in the air or whatever. You know, it was just weird. Ice Spice didn't um, really like publicly wish Nikki a happy birthday y'all probably think that's petty but you know but then you know it, and she didn't post pink friday too until a couple weeks after it had came out and then that's when she it was given like user 
she was doing stuff to benefit when she was getting ready to drop her songs, Delhi, and, um, you know, Fard, and she was doing stuff to benefit her. So I spoke on that two weeks ago, and y'all called me everything but a child of God in the comments. It's okay. I, I forgive you. I forgive you because now you see that she was clearly talking about I Spice. She felt like she used her because she knew that she was not going to sign that 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 deal that Nikki was doing. But she proceeded to go ahead and do those two songs with her. The two features that she asked her to be a part of. She got while the getting was good. She got what she could out of Nikki in that situation. And she moved on with her career. Picture using me in the barbs and never giving back. That was for Doja Cat because Doja declined a feature on Kyle Girl. And that was also for Ice Spice. That was a two for one. One, one, you know, and that's the thing about Nikki. You got to guess what she's talking about because she might clock two of them upside the head. And you never know. That was for Doja because Doja declined that Kyle Girl feature after Nikki gave her her number one record with Say So. She gave her number one. Say So did not go number one. Without Nikki. Nikki was credited on that number one from Say So. She gave Doja Cat her first number one record. Nikki spins the block and wants Doja Cat to get on Cowgirl. Doja Cat declines the record. What are you going to do? Doja Cat declines the record. Ungrateful. Freeloader. User. That's what they probably gave. Now, granted, Doja Cat did send Nikki a record or whatever, um, and Nikki declined the record because Nikki said she felt like she couldn't um, have anything add, add anything to the record. And the way that Doja Cat asked her, Doja Cat had her people reach out to Nikki instead of reaching out to Nikki herself. So I think Nikki just wasn't even really feeling that. And Nikki spoke about all this on Station Head. I'm not making this up. Um, and she wasn't really feeling that because she's like, okay, wait, if we have a working relationship, we did a collab before we, Hey, we even went on to get a number one record together. You couldn't hit me on the phone and say, Hey, um, you know, Hey Nick, you know, I got this record. I think you'll be good on it. You already starting off wrong. It's a bad taste in the mouth. That's just what it is. Y'all. It's a bad taste in, in, in a person's mouth. Um, and so even if she had like the records or whatever, um, which I could have heard her on the record. One of them was getting to a Yeah. Or whatever. I could have heard Nikki on there. She would have slid on there. You had already left a bad taste in her mouth with the way that you handled the business. But Nikki was willing to go ahead and let bygones be bygones because she wanted you to get on that cowgirl record. But what you did, Doja, you came around, you got your get back. And you said, oh, no, absolutely not. Is Doja wrong for declining? I, mm, I get what she did there, but Doja, you still owed her one. Even though she declined your record that you asked for, it's like, girl, you was finna get two features. You owe her one. You owe her one on the back end. I would have just went ahead and even did the Kyle Girl record just for the hell of it. Because just so I know, I, you know what? I owe you one. And that's just me being real. If I know I owe you one, I owe you one. Let me go ahead and get you on that one. Yeah, I know that you declined mine, but I owe you one. Because you know what? For crying out loud, I did get my first number one record with you. You did give me that feature and everything. And Nikki did two verses. One of the verses got leaked. And so she went back in and did another one before the song even had came out. So then we had another um, verse to to listen to. The second one was the best one to me, but um, the one that the actual one. And so, um, you know, Doja Cat, you did owe her that feature. Picture using me in the barbs and never giving back. Doja Cat, I Spice. I'm just here to tell the truth. I told y'all I'm not going to get in front of this camera. I'm not going to come on here running my mouth without saying my opinion and how I feel. And I'm just piecing things together. I'm putting two and two together. The same information that I'm reading on the internet is the same information that you all are reading on the internet. You all just have to wake up and open your eyes that... Just because people get on here, they're not being messy. They're not trying to be divisive. Although this does, it, and I, come on now, I'm going to keep it a bean with y'all. I'm going to keep it a buck. It, it, does it make for good content for us creators? Absolutely. When I saw this came out, I'm, I hated that the situation was happening, but I'm like, oh my God, this is good content. This is what we kind of need for us creators to keep our shit going or whatever. But I'm not going to just get up here on this microphone and say anything. That's just not me. And if you've been here since day one, if you've been rocking with me since day one, I always vowed to myself that I wouldn't do that. 
If I don't agree with something, if I see something, I'm going to say something. I'm going to hold everybody accountable, everybody feet to the fire. That's just what kind of, that's the way that I'm building my platform. I don't care if y'all drag me in the comments. Some of the comments are so rude and nasty. The things y'all say to me, I delete them. Because I'm just like, you know what? Uh-uh, delete, block, and I just block you. And then some people come back from ghost channels. I had that happen. And believe it or not, I'm a small creator. I only have like 745 subscribers at this very moment. But my videos were gaining traction and it was people were watching, although they weren't subscribing and leaving nasty comments. And they still do. If it's too nasty, I'll delete it. If it's like, you know, something that's nasty, but not too far, I'll keep it on there just for, you know, shits and giggles. But I have to go and delete it. But I don't care about what y'all say about me. That's the thing. I do not care. I don't care. At the end of the day, when I turn this off, I go to my real life. I just like to come on here and kick it with y'all. That's it. It's not that serious. Trust me. I know that. So, yeah, y'all, let me know. I'm, ooh, we've been, ooh, it's, okay. This, this video is getting long, but I feel like this was a good video. We, we covered some solid ground in this video. So, this is actually one of the longest videos, but we carried. We carried a little bit, and we really talked some real talk. So, y'all, let me know what you think about this video in the comments, let me know what you think about everything going on. Do y'all think I'm wrong about what I'm saying about the whole situation? Am I loud and wrong? Let me know in the comments. Or am I hitting it right on the head for you and are you thinking like me too? Let me know what y'all think about um, Ice Spice's best friend leaking these text messages. Let me know what you think about the deal that Nikki wanted Ice Spice to sign. How was that deal? Do y'all feel like that deal was shady? Do y'all feel like Ice Spice should have signed it? Do y'all feel like she did right by not signing? Do you think Ice Spice will be around in 2026 or even the beginning of 2025? Let me know. I want to hear from y'all in the comments. Um, this is a good one, and I'll see y'all on the next one. I'm out of here.